Well, in 2020, when we were wiping down our groceries, hospital workers were rolling up their sleeves. Yeah, now two years later, the majority of us have normalized living with COVID somewhat, but our medical workers have continued to endure tough times. Uh, they are still burned out, stressed out, and discouraged. Yeah, a survey in the Journal of uh, General Internal Medicine found that three quarters of healthcare workers suffer from depression or anxiety. Nearly 40% say they have symptoms of post traumatic stress disorder. One nonprofit is on a mission now to reward the workers who risk their lives for the sake of the community. So, joining us to talk about it is Wendy Rubin, the founder of We Love Heroes. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. All right, tell us a little bit about what this organization does. So, We Love Heroes is an entirely a volunteer nonprofit, and our mission is to recognize and reward people who do extraordinary things in extraordinary circumstances. Of course, having just been through two years of a pandemic, which is apparently still ongoing, yeah. um, healthcare workers are at the top of that list. What we do is we facilitate a give back between businesses and their local frontline workers. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we're okay. So when, when you say uh, uh, so they give backs, like what's that mean? Is, is, is that mean you like you know you're going to get like a, a free uh, cupcake from the bakery or something like that, or like what what does that right. mean to to sort of reward people? Right. So what that means is biz local businesses give whatever they can from the heart to their local healthcare community. For example, in and it's it's a nationwide thing, but of course we're always strong in New York because we had the hard we were the hardest yeah. hit, and we are you know we're New York, always New York strong here. Um, but so we have a. Um, a movie theater, uh, sorry, a, uh, a theater in, um, a music theater in St. Louis giving away concert tickets, voice lessons out of Nashville. We've got a lawyer in Utah doing wills. In San Francisco, they're giving away tote bags. And of course, in New York, we have free coffee, free free drinks. We've got free class, you know, free exercise classes. That's awesome. We're yeah, no, it, it's it's very amazing, and we found that that everyone is so grateful to to our healthcare workers. We're all just so so grateful, and people wanted to give back. They just didn't know how, and so we love heroes has become that vehicle on a national level. So, Wendy, what kind of inspired you to kind of start this mission? Right. Were you guys in New York in uh, March 2020, March April 2020? Yeah. Um, well. Yeah, it was like we were living through a sci-fi movie, right? Mm -hmm. The streets were empty. We were all afraid of each other. There was the morgue truck in Queens. And at 7 p.m. every night, we all got together and supported our healthcare workers with mm -hmm. that with that cheer. And at the time, mm -hmm. I wanted to do a um, I wanted to do an event at MySpace, a free event for healthcare workers. I was talking to a friend in Colorado saying, hey, I'm going to do this free event. And he says, we should do that in Colorado. And I'm thinking, yes, you should. And I'm thinking, yeah, people should do this everywhere. <laughs> and that was the start. So I, I wonder, I, I'm sure that the workers that, that are getting these things are, are really appreciative of it, you know, because oh they, 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 they they we've they all been through so, so much. They are so grateful to us. Like they they are thanking us for what we're doing for them. I, it is heartwarming. And uh, yeah, and it, they honor us by by they are so I mean, uh, we did an event in March, a launch event, and people were grateful and they were thanking us. And one woman even cried. She was so grateful that we were recognizing them after two years that we were here helping. And and again, showing our, our gratitude because we are all so thankful for these people that have been there. You know, stand. I, I'm a little dramatic. I say standing right. between us and a loaded gun. But yeah. Well, Wendy, uh, we mentioned it earlier that our healthcare heroes continue to step up every day as we are still in uh, dealing with COVID at the moment. So how can businesses or other people out there kind of help your organization continue to reward them as they are working to keep us safe? So um, a couple of things. We are entirely volunteer. We need volunteers. Um, our our uh, website is weloveheroes.org. That is also the place where healthcare workers can find out what we have for them. And most importantly, for businesses. Um, this is the way to contact us. Go to weloveheroes.org. Go to uh, participating businesses, and there's a form for you to fill out. And right, and we are, we're a nonprofit. We're a 501c3, so it's a win-win. Anything you give to us, you can write off. So you get to do good for the world and also benefit your business, too. There you Love go. It. Fantastic. Uh, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us today. Such a fantastic idea because, look, you know what? We all do love our heroes. They all did so much for us during what really were like the darkest times, some of the darkest times. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely day.